Gus may have antlers like a deer, but he's a puppy dog at heart. The main character of Netflix's new series Sweet Tooth, based on the comic by Jeff Lemire, is a young boy struggling to survive in a world ravaged by a pandemic. But while the world around him descends into chaos, Gus, played by Christian Convery, never loses his sense of wide-eyed optimism. His ears perk up. Literally, if he hears about chocolate or candy apples, and he has an almost naive belief in people who shouldn't always be trusted. At a time when we're inundated with grim post-apocalyptic stories about how dark humanity can get, Sweet Tooth and its adorable lead offer something very welcome, hope. Most of the setup is familiar territory. A pandemic has killed off much of the human race, and those left behind are attempting to rebuild something resembling a society, some via force, others through community. What makes Sweet Tooth different are creatures called hybrids, human-animal mixtures that first appeared, birthed from human parents, at the same time that sick, as it's called, began killing people. They're absolutely adorable little things that would make Angedis proud. But most people can't seem to look past the apparent connection between hybrids and the pandemic, and this doesn't bode well for the hybrids. Gus doesn't know much about any of this. At the outset of the show, the dear child lives in an isolated cabin with his father, who teaches him what he'll need to know to survive. Gus is forced to learn a series of rules, mostly, they involve running away from danger and staying quiet, while his dad teaches him how to farm, fix things, and even read via handmade versions of classic books he rewrites from memory. Gus believes that the world outside of the charmed plot of land is consumed by fire. Because of this, he's never supposed to go beyond the fence that surrounds them. But, for reasons that I won't spoil, but which you can probably guess, Gus ends up leaving the property and traveling with a big man known primarily as Big Man, non so nosy, in search of the mother he's never actually met. Sweet Tooth starts slow, and it's better off for it. Early on, the show doesn't seem too concerned with the larger mysteries of the sickness, the hybrids, or how the two connect. There's a side story involving a troubled doctor that becomes more important later on, but for the first few episodes the show is almost entirely about Gus. First, his almost idyllic life at home, as he celebrates birthdays with new books and handmade stuffed animals. The vibe is warm and comforting, with lots of cozy sweaters, wood cabins, and roaring fireplaces, and just a hint of danger lurking in the background. Executive producer Amanda Burrell previously described the show's aesthetic as storybook dystopia, 